everybody welcome back to the great policy today is J july 22 2021 today i'm going to be talking about this new article called pressure mounts for desantis in florida now a lot of there are a lot of covid cases in florida that are going on right now in florida and there's a rising in tide so be careful it's, it's amounting in one in five uh, one in five unvaccinated people in that state, and Ron DeSantis is currently defending Florida for the purpose of uh, the political geopolitical landscape um, going on down there in, in the southern in the southern border of Florida. And uh, he obviously we know um, Ron DeSantis is running in 2024 to be the um, Republican nominee. Uh, probably against uh, some of the Demo Democratic establishments and the candidates on the Republican side of the aisle too. And so he's establishing his dominance in this area and he's mounting pressure and it seems like um, he's a spokesperson for the Florida government and he's and a lot of the cases are, are coming from the government or are coming from the state of Florida uh, and a lot of people need to get vaccinated and that's understandable um, but it seems like he went he actually he went to travel to California and like he made a case for the COVID-19 vaccinations uh, and he he urged everyone to get to, to get vaccinated as soon as possible and he's up for a re-election next year. Um, it seems like DeSantis will be a interesting candidate in the realm of politics when when he runs in 2024 on the main stage. And uh, he he actually he's he's very friendly with Biden when when Biden uh, uh, came to Florida to. Um, to notify many of the public officials about the COVID vaccine, they worked together to come up with the uh, the national emergency le legislation and the executive uh, actions that had occurred because of the, the the climate crisis that was occurring in that particular state. And the coronavirus pandemic is probably the biggest problem down there, and it seems like DeSantis is holding it down. And it's interesting to view his views on this particular subject of the COVID-19 pandemic. And afterwards, when he's probably running for president in 2024, I assume he'll be a front runner candidate based on his governor position, a governor of Florida position. And that's a great thing. Um, but he looks like right now he's just mounting a lot of pressure is is going his way because of the fact COVID-19 uh, unvaccinated people are increasing in in Florida and the climate trouble is is actually a huge issue too and so as long as he settles that and gets that uh, under control and hold and holds the right people accountable I believe we'll see a fantastic uprising in the political geopolitical landscape of Florida and he will run for president of the United States in 2024 and we'll see how that plays out the election is still ways to go and in 2022 he's still up for re-election re again and that will be interesting to see but other than that thank you all for watching hope you have a great day